Welcome to the channel, History Hunters UK, and today I'm exploring the northern defences in the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar. Quite a large area, made up mostly of 18th century defences, and upgraded during the Second World War, when there was a very real risk of invasion by the Spanish and the Germans. This area has been pretty much abandoned, left to nature, so very overgrown. Uh, the last couple of years though there's been a big clean up operation and this area was known locally as the jungle for many years. But we're going to have a little look today, see what's left. There's supposed to be some range boards, uh, World War II, artwork and, and so forth. So let's have a look, see what we can find. So here's one of the first bunkers I've come to. I thought it might be a possibly an air raid shelter to start with. but. It's actually a machine gun position. Just as I come in here, we can see the table where the machine gun stood, and to the left of that is the loophole for the machine gun. Can't see much out of here now, unfortunately, it's very overgrown. But to the right, we've got the range board. It's really nice. There's supposed to be a few of them here. Let's see if we can find the others. There's another little chamber just off to the side, but um, just another table in there. So I'm at the King's Lines, 1789, and there's quite a few little entrances leading into the cliff. Quite a few tunnels going off. We're just going to have to see what we can find in here. Uh, this looks, I think, mainly 18th century. These were dug out by the looks of it. Let's see what's around here. Looks like, yeah, water tanks, I think. So this is probably Second World War era. It's rusting away. Uh, this is, I think, back where I came in, just around the corner. Yeah, okay, let's go this way. So we've got some concrete ahead. This looks like a blast wall, possibly. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is just to stop any sort of explosion traveling up the tunnel you can see there's three sections of concrete there okay on here star chamber excellent this is one i was told to uh to look out for it's supposed to be a world war ii plaque on the wall it's reused obviously you can see by the blast wall second world war era defenses there's some little buildings down here i think that might be the plaque on the wall just to the right up here a few more little these buildings, barracks, mess rooms or something. Yeah, there you go. King's Regiment, Battalion Headquarters, 1941. That's nice. I'm not sure what these buildings are. I haven't got any roofs on them, but I suppose in the tunnels you don't need them. So uh, one of the modern boards have been put up by the workforce. Yeah. There's tunnels leading off in every direction here, so I don't really know where to go. That looks like more blast wall, so that's just leading back out, I think. That's heading up into into the cliff. I might come back and look at that in a minute. Head back through here. Yeah, I do like that. 1941. Hopefully there's a few more of those about. Or it's supposed to be some of the range boards are supposed to be quite close to Star Chamber. That's what I've been told. So anyway, let's try up here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so this tunnel ended up just uh, leading up above Star Chamber. It just winds back round. And there's the gated off. It's just looking out towards the runway area. So I'm going to head back down.
So as you can see, I found some more range boards, machine gun positions, I think these are. And this is from St. Patrick's Chamber, which leads to Common Hall, which I think is this section. And there's, looks like it's three or four areas for machine guns. And this looks like a really good range board. I think this is the best one. Yeah, look at that, that's really clear. Looking out across the border to Spain. Just have a look out the embrasure. It's a view we get today. This one is a lot of graffiti on this one for some reason. At least they kept it just the one, I suppose. But yeah, looking out across the border again. And uh, I think it's St. Patrick's. It says in, uh, in 1943 on this one. MG written on that as well, so yeah, that's really nice. Seems to have hit a bit of a dead end here. It's fenced off, gated off. I was told that they are gating areas off here. There's definitely more gates than you know than I've seen in videos. Of this place in the last year so I think if anyone wants to visit you should do it sooner rather than later I think they're going to end up closing big sections of this off maybe just open it up to guided tours or something there's a shaft going up there no way up there I'm trying to climb up there's some little plaques on the wall in here as well but there's no writing on them I'm going to head back it's another one of these blast walls seem to be everywhere obviously second world war additions and I think this just takes me back to St Patrick's chamber yeah there we go very careful with these cables here because I don't want to trip this is a long way down okay so pages rise this is apparently 1940 October so another World War II edition more concrete blast walls down here I don't know what this one is I don't remember seeing this before Case going up there. Let's try around here. And that's looks like a mount for a cannon, possibly, or don't know. It's a Moore's head. Don't know what that is either. Yeah, it's definitely a mount for something. We've got some openings here. Been bricked up. She looks like a little bench out there. We're quite low down here, I think, as well. We've did come down quite a way down those stairs. So just getting back up slightly here. Looks like a machine gun position at the end. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That is impressive. Uh, stone jetty. 
fixed lines, red house. Imagine that's probably long gone. Yeah, this is probably the best one I've seen. A range board, just giving ranges of how far to certain targets, looking towards the Spanish border. It's really impressive. So I'm back out in front of the cliffs now and you can see what looks like uh, maybe rifle positions. Uh, it looks like the, the roof's collapsed on that. But, and then up there you can see there's definitely an opening up there. Maybe another gun position higher up. Don't know if we can get to that or not. Big tunnels leading up there somewhere. Let's have a look. I'm not quite sure if this is a bunker ahead of me or just a passageway through but it's, it looks like it's closed off again. I do remember seeing this in a video and I think there is an entrance into another section of tunnels. I think there's a shaft dropping down where some people can just about see a gap in the wall up there. But, um, I think some people got down there down the shaft with some ropes so I think that's probably why it's been sealed off. It's not safe gone back inside the tunnels again and this is 18th century again you can see probably musket positions here and through the other side that's a dead end just more of the same now just coming to the end I think it looks like more Concrete blast walls, World War II era again. Plenty of those around here. And um, yeah, it's just going to lead me back outside. I think I'm going to have to go up on top of the bunker and try and continue through there. So I've gone over the bunker and that's just looking down at it now, back along the King's Lines, over towards Spain. Just about make a runway there. And uh, yeah, we've got some 18th century buildings again here. Looks like another, well, looks like an ammunition store, I'd say, possibly. And leading through, and wow, what's this? Got some sort of mount here again. Uh, I'm not sure what that's for. I so. Um, so I don't know if that's Second World War or earlier. Yeah, if anyone knows, let us know, please. Come back out and uh, another tunnel to the left, 1788. And then looking down upon the lines. Out towards Spain. You can see the workers have been along here, there's sort of broke walkways put in. This has been blocked off, but all the paths have been really well cleared. It's been opened up. Hopefully they keep some of it like this. That looks like some armour plating. That is that is big. I don't know where that's come from. A couple of inches thick though. Upper Forbes battery. So there's supposed to be a four-inch gun on lower Forbes battery, I was told, uh, dating from the Second World War. So I found up a Forbes, so hopefully if I'll go along here, maybe it drops back down. I'm guessing it's gotta be below upper. Maybe, no, there's nothing, nothing through there. Okay, I don't think you can see, I might have to go up a little bit higher and then come down maybe around the corner. This is definitely an 18th century structure. Uh, it looks to be maybe an ammunition store. You see the kids have been in this one back in the days when this was known as the jungle. 
bit of graffiti on the walls. But yeah, definitely some sort of ammunition store, I'd say. Back out. Yeah, and you can see on the wall there, shell store. So that confirms it. So I think I might have missed Lower Falls battery. There was the tunnel further back with 1788 above it. Perhaps if I go down there in a minute, that might lead me to it. But this is some sort of gun position up here. Uh, down to some little entrances. Uh, be a way out down there actually. But yeah, that's a uh, really nice view looking out over the runway. There's a few little observation positions up here as well. And uh, just inside this one, there's a nice little date on the wall. 43. You get a really good view from up here of the planes taking off and landing. Just up above the runway, there's Victoria Football Stadium down below. And just coming in now is a British Airways flight, probably from Heathrow. And that's just coming into land now. She goes across. You can see the walkway going across the runway, the pedestrians cross. Up until about a month ago, cars would come across here as well, but there's now a, a new tunnel down at the far end. Just take some of the cars through there. You can still walk across the roadway. Behind Upper Forbes Battery is a very long staircase heading up the rock. It leads to an observation bunker on the left side, and then a single chamber at the top. I'm not sure what it was used for, but it has magnificent views looking out over the runway and the Spanish border. Several texts remain on the wall, largely dating from the First World War period. So maybe some sort of observation room. These days, it's home to several seagulls. Moving away from Upper Forbes Battery now, it seems like I'm heading back towards the entrance to the northern defences, but this is a bomb-proof barracks, again 18th century. Uh, I think I've read some of it, one on the left is some sort of bakery. This is for barracks, so massive thick walls, thick ceilings. Probably wouldn't have stopped much during the Second World War period, but 18th century, definitely bomb-proof. You see again the kids have been in here. Lots of graffiti on the walls. Not much else to see though. Back up the other end and it seems to go on for quite a way. Another building here. So on the wall here. This Prince's magazine, and this is another section which is sadly sealed off. Maybe it's not very safe in there, I don't know. But on the right hand side here, we've got looks like maybe rifle positions. I'm not sure how old this is, maybe originally for muskets, and then definitely looks like it's been adapted during the Second World War with concrete added. I would think rifle positions. Maybe machine guns, but just another layer of a defence up here. Not much of a view anymore, everything's overgrown. more along here. Seems to go right the way along. I think we're going to just see what's down here, then maybe turn back, try and find lower Forbes battery. I'd like to see that four inch gun before I go home. This is just more of the same along here. No roof on this section, so maybe not finished. Just go down here for another minute or so. Here's a searchlight position, 
I could see this from down below earlier on. Uh, there's a new fence being put up here, but that's already been broken. Just keep away from the edge. And some really great views looking out and across the border. You can see Sierra Carbonara, the big hillside in the distance. A lot of Spanish bunkers built there, assistance from the Germans. So I've come back to this tunnel, which I'm hoping leads down to Lower Forbes and the four inch gun. It's going downwards, so that's positive, hopefully. Um, the workers have been in here again, you can see the handrail's been put in. This is Queen's Line East Gallery. And behind me, got a spiral staircase. I've seen this in other videos as well. And I'm not going to attempt going up it, it looks a bit dodgy. I think someone did go up there and there's, I think it's just a dead end at the top, but I think the torch, you can see it goes quite away. But I'm here by myself, I'm not going to risk this one. If these stairs go, I'm in trouble, so I don't know how long it'll be till someone finds me. I'm just going to keep following this down. It's definitely going in the right direction, so hopefully I'll find this, this gun. Back to the concrete blast walls. I've got a feeling this is down on the King's Lines again. Let's go. Yeah, look in here. One of the galleries I've been in earlier, yeah. Yeah, let's head outside. And yeah, back on the King's Line. So I've got a feeling it's actually in this bunker in front of me. So I just dropped down in front of the bunker and to my right, there we are. <laughs> There's the four inch gun. Oh, I'm really pleased to find this one and so this dates back to the First World War, it was a naval gun, probably secondary armament on cruisers, main armament maybe on smaller ships, but by the Second World War these were largely obsolete and they were just in storage, there was quite a few of them in Gibraltar and with a very real risk of a German-Spanish invasion, they just put everything they had to use, which is why this is sitting here now, over 80 years later, still there. Hopefully, this will get some attention soon and maybe get a bit of restoration work done on it. Really nice to see. Well, I'm heading back out now, and uh, it's been quite a long video, I think, so if you're still watching, thank you. Hope you've enjoyed it. I don't think I've seen everything here, but. I've seen the main bits I wanted to see, star chamber, the range boards, four inch gun, the spiral staircase and uh, got to see some planes land and take off. So it's been a really good explore, one of the best ones I've ever done I think. So um, you can hear the workers outside, they're putting more fencing up I think. So if you are going to visit, you know, probably sooner rather than later before they start closing big sections of this off. Anyway. Thank you for watching.